Whew. So now it's time for the long descent down into Caracol. Looks like I have 58 kilometers down to Caracol and then check that out and then head back over this thing again. was 20 kilometers of bad wash washboard road now it's a bit better still <laughs> not great and uh, yeah the winds coming still I can see beautiful Buyu Lake off into the distance Arriving in the town of Caracol <laughs> looks uh, almost abandoned, at least on the outskirts. Oh, look, a homestay. Get to the lake. So I'm at Lake Caracol. 3,900 meters. Uh, it's uh, cold and windy here too. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's a massive 25 kilometer lake. Uh, it's quite quite huge. Also like green blue water and some waves coming in I can see off into the distance. Apparently there was a from 2014 to 2017, they had a, a kite surfing competition here. It was the world's highest regatta or something like that, but unfortunately they stopped that. Um, and this 25 kilometer lake is apparently in a 50 kilometer wide uh, meteor crater. Um, that they only discovered it was a meteor crater that was created like five million years ago. But they discovered that, that, that it was actually one. 1987. So, and uh, this is kind of the furthest point on my trip. Uh, actually, like uh, down the road over there is the border with uh, Kyrgyzstan, and Osh is only like a couple hundred kilometers away. But that border is closed, so I have to go all the way back uh, where I came from through uh, Dushanbe uh, back into. Uh, Uzbekistan and around uh, to Tajikistan, so it's kind of a shame, but uh, I can check out some other places and it'll be a little bit cooler, I think, in the lower lands because uh, it's pretty pretty cold here. Uh, you can see, I think this is like salt deposits from the lake. It's some kind of minerals, not quite salt. So toxic. Um, yeah, cool place. And I made it. Made it as far as I was hoping to go. back put on the heated vest I've got all my winter gear on because it's windy AF here Ooh, and it's a cold wind gotta get through 25 kilometers of this bad road this isn't even the road the roads over there but it's even worse 
so people just started making a separate track which then gets bad too so it's uh kind of you gotta pick your poison here No, 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 fuck. God damn it. Ah, so I dropped the bike. Trying to get a photo op. Ah, this is once in Mongolia. And uh, had to rotate the bike around on the ground because it was facing uphill and I couldn't lift it. So, I gotta try again. Ah, back wheels off, which is always a pain. Yeah, 4,300 meters. Not a great place to drop the bike. side we go around just to make sure oh, it's semi balanced stay donkey good boy Fuck! Oh boy! Okay. Is all the dropping the bike worth it for the photo op? I don't know, but I'll have the photo a lot longer in the soreness from the uh, from the bike drop. So. <laughs> As long as you can get yourself out of it, I guess it's all okay. <laughs> I'm going over the pass one more time. Driving back in Murgab after dark. Not an ideal situation, but yeah, now back to the pretty nice guest house or roof that I was at last night. Hello. Ooh, Russian truck. <laughs> 